Hello everyone and welcome to another Cisco Quick Hit video. Quick Hit videos are here to hit you with maximum content in a short period of time so you can go about your day a little bit wiser. I'm Thomas Lewis, I'm your presenter and I'm a systems architect with Atlanta Select here at Cisco and today I'm excited to talk with you about TAC Connect. TAC Connect is easily one of my favorite tools to share with customers and that's because it helps provide something we all need a little bit more of and that's time. But before we show how TAC Connect works on your behalf to manage cases and giving you that time back, let's review what Cisco TAC is and how to best engage them. So Cisco TAC consists of over 2,600 IT professionals spanning 24 facilities across the globe, and they follow the sun so that you always have the appropriate support whenever you need it. And with that in mind, there are a myriad of options to engage TAC based on severity. Many of our solutions today have smart call home features that find issues and proactively engage TAC on your behalf. Integrated support engines leverage APIs so you can reach out to TAC through a single tool. And things like SCM and communities have direct access to engage TAC as well. And you can open up a case with TAC by emailing TAC at cisco.com. And if it's a high severity case like a SEV1 or a SEV2, you can always call TAC directly to have a warm handoff with an engineer. So the problem we're really trying to solve for, as we discussed, is time. My customers see more of their time managing cases that are already open due to multiple factors, like um, engaging with the appropriate engineer, status updates, RMA updates, escalations, um, second opinions, et cetera. And these factors aren't always quick uh, to reference or easy to manage. And that's where TAC Connect can help. TAC allows you to connect with the TAC bot to ask a question, and then the TAC Connect bot provides a response. So when we understand this, there are two key features that the TAC Connect bot solves for. First is communications or connections. So with the TAC bot, you can establish communication or connection with the TAC engineer. You can also connect with the duty manager. So if you need a second opinion or you want to make sure that you have the appropriate technical resources on the call to achieve remediation faster, you can contact the duty manager. And you can also create virtual spaces so that you can have conversations with the appropriate engineers on the case. You can also leverage the tech bot to perform quick requests or to ask for basic information. Whether you're trying to get the status on a case, find out about a bug, get the RMA status, if you want to check or view a case by the priority, if you want to add case notes or raise the severity of a case, you can even use it to retrieve case ownership details, escalate cases, and also requeue if necessary. Accessing the tag bot is very, very simple. So when you want to get in touch with your personal assistant, you can go about it by connecting with tacconnect.cisco.com. Coming to this page, you have two choices to engage the personal assistant. One, on the right-hand side, you can simply open up a page and here you'll have all the information you need, or you can click on the, the personal assistants and access this directly through WebEx. So in this case, I've got my bot, it's within my, uh, my WebEx space, and I can see all the different features that, uh, that are at my disposal. And what's neat here is we also have a section right at the bottom where you can do demos and videos. So if you wanna do a deeper dive within any of these different pieces, whether you're raising the severity, checking on RMA statuses, we have a quick hit video within YouTube so that you can get more information so that you can hit the ground running. So thank you so much. I hope this little bit of time gave you a whole lot more time back later on down the road. Thanks for joining us today for this quick hit video. My name is Thomas Lewis. Have a great day and be safe. Thank you.